It's family. Right. It's a family. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, all you beautiful people. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Taverna. Taverna. And this here is Frank looking like, uh, what's that one uh, anime? I don't know. Uh, it's called One One Piece. Um. Oh, that sounds super familiar. It's one of those like really popular ones. It's also a bathing suit. I'm also pretty sure if there's a photo up of him right now, he doesn't look anything like that. He, he, but he, he has that circle hat. Well, I he's giving that. me Bruno Mars vibes. He always gives you Bruno Mars vibes. I think you just have Bruno Mars. I love Bruno mind. Mars vibes. Bruno Mars. Bruno. Oh, I Bruno. do talk about Bruno. Never saw it can't make the references if you haven't seen it well the one thing i can do is never talk about bruno we're talking we're talking about um the movie coco when we say that no we're not in, Ca- in canto <laughs> how, how did i not watch it and i know that you're right in Ca- is it in canto or in canta in canto it's uh masculine okay oh my god i'm so dumb i don't deserve the frog today oh here have the crow the dumb actually crows are pretty very smart no I think but eating crow isn't eating crow when you have to eat your words like because you messed up all i know is crows are like the smartest bird they are so i'll take them okay <laughs> it'll help me oh yeah rub off on you how are you guys doing um hope all is well hope uh, it's wednesday i wish this could stay here he could be like uh, yeah oh. maybe we could figure out how to like tie it down oh my gosh we should put one on each shoulder why? Oh, like a frog on yeah. one shoulder? Crook and crow. That would be good. I don't know. You about just that. saw a logo made. Logo made. <laughs> um, how are you guys doing? It is Wednesday, and a lot has happened since we last podcasted. Has days? Yeah. Mean just days passed. Days passed. Sunday was a huge day. It was the hugest because it was nineteenth. It was June nineteenth. Is that what it's called? Juneteenth. It was Juneteenth. Juneteenth. We had a whole Juneteenth. Is this the only second year? I think. Federal holiday. Second year as a federal holiday, even though it fell on a Sunday, which um, means that banks were closed anyway. No, I think, don't they get today? Is today a holiday? Is that why the trash hasn't been picked up? I do believe we did a federal holidays podcast. Podcast. (laughs) It's a political podcast. Podcast. We talked about federal holidays, and I'm pretty sure if the federal holiday falls on a Sunday, Monday... Be, will be the will be the observance really and if that is true that means today there'll be no mail in the united states there'll be no trash pickup if you have a government trash pickup which we do some people have private um and there'll be no um banks like you said and and i think it might be true because you can't you can't you can't let somebody yes we'll be observed on june 20th well okay so monday um was a monday federal, was was a federal holiday that was that was why our trash wasn't picked up on monday yeah <laughs> silly um, me <laughs> all right guys we're just gonna uh, give give it give it up we have we're podcasting this a little early because i oh, yeah. I'm, I'm 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 pulling back the curtain okay only to talk about why okay pulling back the curtain normally we give you things a day of but guess what we tricked you and you believed it um we are doing a few of these podcasts early because next week that's right you want to talk about this next week i am being a camp counselor for the first time for the first time ever even being at camp right um and this is like a real you know like there's so many different camps where there is uh you have a camp in a city yeah day camp sleepover camp this is like when you think of a cliche camp bible camp cabins and kayaking and um I don't know, zip lines? <laughs> One can hope. But um, yeah, so I skip. Well, considering this is little children, I'm guessing the zip line's only going to be like that far. Yeah, I, I was thinking. The ground. I was, I, I've been like thinking about this and I'm like, oh, um, my parents never loved me enough to send me to camp, which is a lie. I actually think parents love you more when you don't send them to camp because they want you around. <laughs> yeah. At least that's yes. what my therapist, yes, that is me and my therapist came to the conclusion of. <laughs> that's correct. But I know I keep thinking about it and I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to be doing all the activities. And I'm like, wait, I'm the counselor. You're the counselor. Am I just going to have to watch? Of little children. All right. Yeah. So I am going to be a camp counselor at Camp No Worries. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, that's so great. And Camp No Worries is a nonprofit organization camp for kids and families of those with cancer. Aww cancer um the I, child has the cancer 
The child has the Because sometimes they have... That's one of the campfire songs. <laughs> child has the cancer. Spencer, can we keep that? Um, sometimes there there are camps for people, for children whose parents are um, yeah. ill. Because it's hard for them to have, you know, the oh, yeah, normalcy. Yeah. But, you're, but these children are, are unfortunately, very unfortunately, the ones who, who have cancer. Yes. Um, so there, you know, it's uh, this idea of get a week away from all of the humdrum of Give them a medical to stuff. So not being in a hospital. Not being in a hospital. And, and so it's, um, you know, very well organized. Like on top of camp staff, they have all of the like oncology people. Right. But um, it's exciting. We're, we, we got all of our um, assignments and I am in charge of the young boys, six to nine. Six to nine. Six to nine. And it's only, is, is, is the whole camp one gender or? No, it's a co-ed camp. It's a co-ed but camp, but a, you only have boys. It's, yeah, because it's cabin counselors. Okay. And so I, I get the young boys and I am going to. How many? I don't know. You don't I am know. going to lead them into the path of righteousness. Call me if you need me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have <laughs> the even... kids are taking over. Well, you know, you like have... <laughs> in prisons when there's a riot. Oh, yeah. Lord I'm of the Flies. S- I'm scared there might be a, a cabin prison, riot. <laughs> but it's little kids who took over. Uh, where? Are you going to have phone service? I don't know. Um, probably, uh, I'm sure it is given. I want to say like somewhere in like North Jersey. Okay. Um, I want to say that. But I'm it's a real going. campsite. You're not going to be in the parking lot of the hospital where they just <laughs> put up some fig trees and say. No, it's going to be a real campsite. Uh, there's fun. like water activities. And, oh, that's fun. And all that. So, um, yeah. So do th- they pay? I don't think you so. Don't, you don't know that side of it. Well, they, they, I, I'm making spiritual bucks. You're not getting paid with, with, with physical bucks. No, I don't think so. It's a volunteer. It's a volunteer. And you know what? I don't care. Um, but yeah, so that will be Saturday to Saturday, seven days. Um, so what will happen with the podcast? Well, so don't worry, guys. The podcast will still be here. Um, modern technology allows for us to do things like that. So we'll see you like podcasting from the cabin and we'll see like the kids like drowning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You'll see like like the cabin's on fire and I'm like, yeah. hello and welcome back to the Crook and Crow podcast. Or you could use the little children, you know. Like, oh, as as clickbait. Yeah, little props. You better watch this or this kid's cancer might get worse. Right. It's on you. It's on you. For every like one kid gets to right. go in the zip line. We have dark humor, but that's fine. That's okay. Uh, yeah, humor's okay. Dark humor's okay. You know what? I, I actually um worked at one time with some people who who worked in a hospital with um cancer children yeah and uh, there was a whole group of us medical people of all different aspects abilities yeah uh, but this group that worked with the very serious they were the most fun group and they had dark humor and they even they 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 even joked that way with the children and the children liked it because they were they were so tired of being like yeah Billy, no I was, Billy. Wa- I was watching this is nothing to do with the camp but i was watching a video of someone who was taking kids uh who were diagnosed with cancer out and they were like they were young you know i mean like probably ages of like 10 to 13 and um that's what like they were even saying that they were like we we like the humor like yeah. uh, we're, we are like so overburdened with okay like hold my hand people and being stuff. careful and, and, and yeah because if they remember that they like, I mean, six to nine is young, so I'm not going to be joking around. With them. No. <laughs> but there's a certain age where it's like they have that sense of humor. Of like it, it doesn't go. They don't. It's just a part of them. They they don't turn into little sensitive people all of a sudden. It's right. Like, and so, if anything, it's like allowing them to still to be right the goofball ten year olds who want to yes. make jokes. But moving on, guys. Um, it was it was Juneteenth. We celebrated that on Monday. Um, it was Father's Day as well. On June twentieth, uh, June nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, on June nineteenth, it was Father's Day. Um, not celebrated at much. I saw a ranking list of holidays that are celebrated. I think Mother's Day is top five. Um, might be number. Two, might, might be I think moms three. are more needy than dads. And and Father's Day is number twenty. Yeah, twenty, and that's like after things like Arbor Day. Right. I don't know. Now, where do, my question is this. Okay. Do you think it is caused by lack of care or do you think it's caused, you know, like a uh, supply and demand? Do dads not give the demand for it where it's like, are dads less disappointed? Like, 
I'm doing my thing. I don't I don't need to go out to brunch. I'm gonna say Maybe his father's day will be going going a golf trip away from the family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that um men push Mother's Day and women are supposed to push Father's Day. But don't. But don't. Ah. And so the poor men um, so you think the can't men- even re- no one remembers, but for Mother's Day the dads are like, get this for mommy, get your or, mom, yeah. look, give this to her, or don't forget your mother. Um, so you think dads would be appreciative if you give them flowers? I do. Well, you're too I late think they're conditioned. Didn't. I think dads are conditioned to expect less. Mm. So you get what you you know you look for out there well it's too late for you guys now but next year forget mother's day they've had enough yeah i always say forget mother's day you know what i want i want a family day so there's no there's Uh, sorry no continue there's there's no mother's day there's no father's day siblings day grandparents day um all these days that they have is they're on my nerves okay and also they're untrue all these posts and people say, you know, this person's great and that person's great. And it's like, it's really kind of untrue. So I just want a family day. And then that will be your family day. And then in, but it's, it's a national family day. Okay. Kind of like a, maybe like a, a warm weather Thanksgiving. Yes. Okay. So, so like a bar, like a, kind of like a memorial, you know, we like have barbecues to get your right, family together. Right. But why not make a day like around this time? Right. It's family day and it's like, it's observed. Everyone has a day off and right. you have a barbecue and it's not right. for Memorial Day. You know what I mean? Or like, it's not for the 4th of July. Right. It's, we're celebrating each other. We're not, we're not right. with each other celebrating a holiday that we're not really even thinking about. Right. 4th of July. Yes. America independent or the creation of America is great and all, but it's like, you're celebrating something else. Right. Why not? Have a, I suggest have a holiday. this. Yeah, okay. It's family day. Um, like because the other day I saw um, my neighbor had a bunch of cars at their house because it was Father's Day, right? And so like the 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 adult children had come back to see the dad and and so forth. And like you wouldn't even want to intrude on that because it's like oh like they're celebrating their dad or yeah. whatever like this. But if if you had a family day, you could even invite people, like say people, you know, come to my family. I, I was just thinking that. Day. So also, you know, with like. Father's Day and Mother's Day, the sad thing comes up when your parent's dead. You're right. Or pa- <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> you have a parent who passed away. Right. And it's like you're seeing everyone post like, and the, you have these I- isolates in society where you'd say, "Come to my family day." It's yes. like, Oh, but like, I'm not part of family. Oh, you're more Come than to welcome. My family day. That's so much more. More. It's almost also nicer to the person because they feel welcomed by the family. It's very rather honorable. Than should I bring your dad something? You know, like. Well, that's the thing. So on family day, and you know, actually, you just said that it might be sad for people who don't have parents, but Mother's Day and Father's Day is also sad for people who have lost children. Yeah. Because there's, you know, you say. You feel like you're no longer a mother. Right. I, I you yeah. know, I lost, um, I lost my child. So, um, but it, but if it was a family day, you're celebrating the mom, you're celebrating the dad, you're celebrating the siblings, mm-hmm. celebrate each other. I'm celebrating my children. Um, and so therefore, and also <laughs> we're on to something. And also we say. the nice thing about family day is it's subjective, right? You know? So it's like, You're right. You, you can tell someone you are a part of this family, right? You can't tell someone you are my father. Right. <laughs> they would say, right. uh, no, not. It's real Mari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I got the DNA test back. You are. Yeah, you're my father. You know, it's um, like, because, yeah, you know, it's like, uh, that's what they always, they always say about stepfathers. They're like, you know, he's not, or you, what's the thing where it's like, he might not be my biological father, but he is my dad. You know what I mean? Like, yes. But it's like that with family. It's like. Right. It's family. Right. It's a family. So, um. All right, family. Scratch, what, what, when's it going to be? Scratch it. When? Yeah. Um. Well, I guess, like you said, it's going to be warm weather. Yeah, warm weather. Um, and even yeah, I definitely want warm weather, or not just warm weather, because depending where you live, but like a more casual, like the Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is like kind of high stress because yeah, it's like right in the the winter months. Yeah, like, you need to you all have to get inside. And, yeah, and now we have this whole thing about the origins of Thanksgiving and X Y Z. So, so 
Um, I would. I think a barbecue is a great idea. Oh, you know, potluck kind of barbecue. Yeah. You know, because then you're all bringing stuff. Yeah, and warm weather, and it could be different things. Like maybe you'll maybe you'll go to the beach on right. family day. Right. Right. Maybe maybe you'll 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 go for something. Yeah, it's yeah. family day. I can't. I can't. Day. I can't. I can't go right now. It's family day. Um. Yeah. The Mother's Day, Father's Day, Siblings Day, Grandparents Day. It's first of all, that's a lot to keep showing up. Yeah. And second of all, it's. It's 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 telling some people that you're not part of this because you're not a mother or yeah or they celebrate uh, their birthdays and then give everyone family day. How about that? Yeah, birthdays individual, everyone else is family day, but it doesn't even have to be blood. Perfect. Thank you. But anyway, guys, now that we've given our two cents about holidays, um, it is Wednesday, uh, beautiful Wednesday, beautiful beautiful Wednesday, and on Wednesday we have a little something called One Word Wednesday. We have it every week, and we enjoy it thoroughly. Um, we pick a word out of the English dictionary. The dictionary. It's a deck. Deck of, of words. cards. <laughs> deck of words. And um, we just chit-chat about it, you know, have some fun. Maybe bring some spiritual significance in it. Um, speaking of spiritual significance, you follow on our Instagram? Because we have Instagram polls going every day, and we need you to vote on which uh, verse inspires you more in that giving day. But yeah, moving on. So we're picking a word and we're just going to chit chat about it. And you guys are going to um, sit idly by and listen and maybe comment. And then you can be part of the conversation. What's the word today? Book. Book. I've been reading a lot of books. Good. Yeah. I stopped reading for a bit. But um, you read on a, 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 like a Kindle. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, a, bo- a phone reader. Um, a phone reader. Yeah. How's your eyes? Um, not good, but they never have been. Okay. So they're kind of like I mean, weathered. It seems smallish. And I have a big Oh, uh, no, I do. Um, I do like the font, like a 300 word book, uh, will turn into like an 800 word book. Okay. So the, the font's nice and big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I'm like scrolling every 10 seconds. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, cause I, I work at the park, the local park and, um, you know, it's like, I could watch the kids and make sure they don't get hurt, but <laughs> It's a lot of hours that I'm there, and so I just I started reading a lot. Um, I think I've read like six books, seven books. So do you always have one in, ear- in the past two months? Do you have one ear out for like because some people it's not get, an audio book. No, but like some people get so in in the book that like the uh, park really could be burning down. No, I mean I I think I'm, I'm I have spatial awareness enough to to do two things at once. I didn't use. I remember in school I used to read books that weren't part of what we were learning yeah and i would not know what was going like i would look up like what did i'm like are you calling me what yeah. you know, i would get so lost yeah no and i also like i try especially for the books i'm reading at work i try not to read anything too complicated okay like i stick to the, you know the old fiction um just like kind of like you know, a thriller or something just uh to make it an easy read where okay. it's like i can skip scan through a page and not have to go back and be like okay wait who is this person in right relation i to know the numbers and the but um yeah all right so that was my little book spiel. love books um i don't have any books on tap right now but i did recently see there was like the pope's reading list um oh. and it wasn't even boring books it was like That's romance almost as good as oprah's reading list no it was like a, he had a romance on there. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's God is love. Yeah, and um, and so I, I, I'll, I'll um, I'll get something off there. But no, actually, I'm not. I'm not reading any book right now. Um, you're in between books. I'm in between <laughs> books, and I love books. Um, but I am particular, so I can't. I'm not really the person where someone can just give me a book. Uh, um, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> now. There's like an e- 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 equate, not an equation. There's an when something equates another thing. What is that? It's not equator. I don't know, but I know. There's a correlation. Okay. There's a correlation between people who read a lot of books mm-hmm. and intelligence. Mm-hmm. Do you think it is correlation or causation? What I mean by that is, do you think a person who is intelligent enjoys to read books more or do you think reading books makes someone more intelligent okay let me um let me digest your question because what i'm going to say right off the bat and this is truth 
is reading books makes one more intelligent. Okay. That's for sure. But, so we're going to leave that and that okay. can't be changed. But your other question was, do intelligent people read more books? Yeah, I, I, I didn't really know. Because you, what, if you just see someone, they say, I read 100 books a year. Yeah. You're, you are, you might have in your head, that's an intelligent person. Yes. Do you think like that kind of, like the reading is what made them intelligent? Or do you think they're an intelligent person and so the same way an athletic person wants to run like, run <laughs> yeah I, I run 100 miles a, yeah. a year and it's like i think that um they did not i think i did, i did, we don't start out the same yeah. and i think an intelligent person will naturally want to seek out to read more books okay i just that's going to be how they are yeah when they're reading them they are getting more intelligent mm. but i'm saying if you don't have a natural um, feeling to want to read or you would never do it unless you were forced i think if you're forced you will become more intelligent so i just brought up the a a um physical analogy i okay. said oh well he's an athletic person but if anything it's like athletics for your brain yeah, there are right. people who are born genetically predisposed their muscles and everything are um right look at kenyan runners yes kenyan runners they're if you look um, at their body it's like made to run right. because it's from centuries right. of, of running through the plains then you can get have genetics that aren't made to run so it's like that person runs every year and are they getting better at running like, the, the the kenyan running runners i'm just talking about the best of them didn't say oh i woke up like this they ran even more and right. trained does that mean someone who isn't genetically predisposed to a runner's runner's body running 100 miles you know yeah every month won't make them better as well it's just they, there's different starting points right but it'll definitely make them better it will never make them kenyan yeah you know because that the, th their it, genetics have been changed by behavior for so long yeah so yeah but it, it might it might definitely uh, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it might be more on your body and like you might feel it more right um where someone else it might be natural yes. like, oh i can run and never stop yeah but are you gonna get more in shape by running no matter what right. yeah so it's like yeah different starting yeah. points but you're doing something that benefits you regardless absolutely benefits you read 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 okay um i will i i i had three boys um and but it was decades ago now it's probably different this alpha generation especially the covid generation they're probably big readers i don't know but back in the day and then especially in back in my day um, boys didn't really want to read too much yeah. um and i'm making obviously broad strokes here yeah. um but also i don't know if much was available like if they didn't want to leave read emily dickinson you know but yeah. anyway when my boys were young thankfully there was like a, a genres were coming out for them yeah and also like i'm um, not just boy girl books girl books i mean harry potter was you know for both um so thankfully they had opportunity they had access and um they were encouraged yeah and so i see people um even now older older um but boys and girls but like i said i see with boys like even men you know eh, i don't really read yeah i think it's just the um exposure like yeah. they're they're because like i said i'm a huge reader i'm a huge reader the biggest. Have been. i'm the biggest reader in the world the biggest reader Nobody reads more <laughs> books than me. Huge. The biggest reader in the world, okay? But yet, like I said earlier in this podcast, if someone hands me a book, doesn't mean I'm going to read it. Yeah. So even, so imagine someone who's not a reader, who doesn't think there's a reader. Maybe they picked up a book before and they're like, yeah, I tried. No, thank you. Yeah. Well, it no, was just that book. And I think, that's a, I think that's a good point because back... So I feel like reading has fallen out of fashion a little bit with our modern technology. And so back to my question of... Do people read a lot of books that are intelligent? So we kind of got to, yes, but. Like, right. Yes, but doesn't mean reading isn't good for you. With that said, you have the people that don't really, I uh, don't really like to read. You don't see much reading going on around you. Right. And the reading you do, you know, if, you, if you're married and your wife is reading, you're like, I'm not going to, I see her reading every night. Yeah. It's not appealing. No. Not realizing that, you know, there's so many books that like, so the books you are seeing people read, oh yeah, I'm gonna read some some self help book. Right. Like, no, I don't want to do that. 
Not knowing that you could read a little fiction novel that might anything pique your curiosity. You even you talked about anime. You know, you can read a cookbook. Yeah, no, you're not even cooking. Um, um, definitely. I, I think I can't remember what we what I'm comparing this to, but we talked about something of like you don't need to go all like to an, a complete end of the spectrum. Like, right. okay, well, if I am reading, I need to read something. It's like you can read a little, right? A little. Uh, raunchy novel for all i care yeah. it's like it's the idea of just like yeah wor- exposing yourself to words mm-hmm. different ver- like forms of language that helps um think of it like another language you know like exposure to another language right there's exposure to the english language and just thought processes that are important um so yeah so national reading day how about that make that i'm sure there is a day what for that. what on well, this podcast, what book? The Bible. <laughs> I, I saw the time ticking up, and I'm like, we got to talk about it. The Bible, the obviously, is, is the, the good bo- book. Is the the good old book that um we reference every day. Yeah. And um, it's a lot. Talk about someone scared to read. Yeah. Um, the Bible is a intimidating book to open. Yeah. Um, and. It's. I think it has packed full of valuable knowledge, and I think there. I read it, you know, cover to cover, page to page. But um, even me, like it was like for me, it was a challenge to do. You know, yeah. like the same way it was like someone trains for a marathon, mm-hmm. and um, so I completely understand when it's like it's intimidating. So it's it's hard. I don't really have an answer of like you can say read the Bible, but you but Christians have been hearing read the Bible. I know from the day they were born. So well, we're gonna make a Bible. Okay. We're gonna we're not gonna make a Bible. We're gonna publish a Bible that already exists. Um, you know, I've been pushing um contemporary English version yeah, recently, have. but you also used um New Standard English, I think. New, uh, new I? something like that. Which are way easier to understand than a King James version. But anyway, um just remember that the book is the Bible is made up of books. A series of books. Sixty six books. Yeah. Um, and I want to make, which it might exist already, but we'll have the Croak and Crow edition, that you can hold each book. Oh. So you can, you can hold just Genesis. Yeah. And then I read it. And then you can hold um, yeah. Exodus. And I read it. Because, guys, it's just a collection of books that, yeah. in the Bible. That's the thing. Like, Talk about intimidating. Right. It's it, if someone handed you a stack of sixty six books right. and said read these, right? You'd be like, what? No. If thanks. someone, if over time, you know, like you're reading one book, I like that. Yeah. It, it makes it much, a much easier accomplishment. Like, right? Oh, what are you reading? Oh, Genesis, right. not the Bible. And then as you're flipping through the pages, you feel just right. I know uh, the the weight yeah. of, of the rest of the book. Right. That's that's a, yeah. That's a really good idea. And um, maybe we'll do that. And uh. You'll be able to purchase it yeah. for top dollar. We used to say book for running. Book it. You know what would be good is like it would be like a subscription service. Where like you send it like 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 old school oh Netflix. Oh my gosh. Where you send it back or in. Even older school. Oh, you send it back in? Oh. I was saying old old school, which is the um you know, you buy the records? No. Yeah, like uh or the CDs. It's before my time. Yeah. CDs are not before your time, but <laughs> um, it was like some kind of like record subscription or something. And it was, you, you know, you would, they would trick, not trick you maybe, but it was like one cent per, but it wasn't really. It was like a subscription and they would send That'd you. That'd be good. You know, like these monthly boxes. Yeah, it'd be like a monthly. But um, but you could do other things, right? So it's a monthly box. You pay for a subscription service. Hear me now. You're, you're into, you're, <laughs> don't, don't steal this idea. You're in a business meeting. And so you get like every, every month. The book of the Bible, and then like maybe some other stuff, maybe like a T-shirt or oh yeah, yeah. You know, and so you get your Crook and Crow box. But there's only twelve months in a year. That's gonna be a lot of months. I gotta be subscribed for a long time. It's a money maker. <laughs> no, maybe they could get like whatever twelve goes into sixty six. Okay. Oh, get so bo- like read like, the read the Bible in a year. Yeah. So like the first month. Yeah. You would get or like um, small books you put together. Yeah. Okay. Do the math of like what takes. Yeah, longer. like you get a, like you get a little Bible box, and it would be. Okay. Like, We're telling them too much. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, yeah, go out and read a book. It, it can be as something as "I wish that I had duck feet," um, by Dr. Seuss. And that's or the truth. As complicated as you want to make it, some astrophysics stuff. War and peace. Or just whatever you want. Anyway, go out, have fun. God bless. Peace.
I think it's Columbia. 